I continue with micro teaching. For practicing a micro teaching skill, we have to conduct a plan at first, a plan of what to teach and in what way it will be transacted, what are the sub skills to be used and how the sub skills can be achieved. A planning session is there. Uh, micro teaching includes a planning phase, a practicing phase. The practicing phase is the second one which is also known as skill acquisition phase. And the third phase is known as application phase or skill practice phase. It is using in the actual classroom. So in order to use a skill in the actual classroom means uh, the school students, before the school students, a teacher have to acquire the skill before it. So the micro teaching you, uh, you have clear cut information on uh, what is planning and what is practice so and so. Please look at this picture. You can see an exact picture of it. Plan, practice, I like that. What is actually it is going on? We have to plan at first. Of course it is coming in vice versa, sorry. It is plan, practice, uh, replan, feedback, plan, practice, feedback, like that. <laughs> sorry, it is not good. It's not good. There have a cycle of micro teaching that is called a micro teaching cycle. The first thing is planning. After planning, we are practicing it. Practicing is also called teaching it, teaching session. After teaching, we will get a feedback from our peer group and it is called feedback session. So plan, teach or practice, then feedback. Based on the feedback, we have to replan for the practice of the skill, replan session. Then again reteach or repractice. Again get feedback, it is called re-feedback. In this way, the micro teaching process will go on and it is called micro teaching cycle. That is the three major sessions of micro teaching. 